Hey everyone, today we're going to do a review on a cube that's not really, that has came out that is new, but uh, our kind of older cube now, since a bunch of old, new cubes have been coming out by MoYu. Uh, this is the Along version 2. Now, I never made a review on it or gave my opinions on uh, how it was, but the cube overall is honestly fantastic. So, we're going to start off with a quick size comparison. So, this is the Yuxin 3x3, which is 57 millimeters, and they're pretty much exactly the same. Um, uh, uh, quite a bit of history. Uh, this cube was made because of, I think, Felix's 5.33 DNF that he made on the Along version 1. Uh, I don't have my Along V1 with me right now. It's somewhere else. But this is the mini one, and I think it has the same mechanism. Yeah, it has the same mechanism. Uh, but a lot of people prefer the V1 over the uh, V2. But some, a lot of people still like the V2 because it fixed some of the problems that the V2 had. Or the V1, sorry, excuse me. Uh, so, let's just get on with some turning real quickly. So the cube is pretty... Uh, let me solve it first. So the cube is pretty fast, uh, as you can see from there. Um, it basically retains most of the smoothness of the Along V1 that was originally there, but now it's more of a blocky kind of a snappy feel that I get from it. Uh, the cube still overall is good. Most people prefer the bubbly feel, or yeah, the bubbly feel that the Along V1 had. And uh, as do I, I also prefer the bubbly feel, but they some for some reason got rid of it on the V2. Um, if I go up close, you can kind of see that the cube overall is uh, very flat right here. But if you go on the V1, you can see it's kind of the edges and the corners and the centers are more curved. Um, it's hard to distinguish on camera. I don't know if I can compare the two, but it's definitely noticeable when you hold it in the hands that the V2 does feel uh, more flat than the actual V1. So, let's just go quickly uh, look at the mechanism real quick and see kind of what they changed. Um, so this is a v mini along, but they, they use the V1 mechanism, at least the one I have. Um, so here is a comparison real quickly. They widened this base for some odd reason. Uh, this one's smaller, and that's the only really noticeable difference. And the edges, uh, this is a V1 on the left and the V2 on the right. Uh, there is no true difference that I can see. Uh, it actually looks pretty much identical. So nothing really changed from the V2, from the V, or from the V1 to the V2. The only thing that really changed was that corner base that you saw mechanism-wise. Um, and I guess the overall feel, it just feels flatter. So I guess the blocky feel um, kind of attributes to the feel, obviously. Or the blocky, this flat feel that the cube has. But the one thing that the V1 had that or the V1 had that the V2 doesn't have as much is the corner twist. Uh, this cube does corner twist a lot, uh, which is really, really annoying when you're solving. So, the V2 kind of solved that problem. Uh, I still do get it, but it's definitely not as much, and I don't really expect the corner twist from the V2 most of the time. Uh, some people have theirs on very, very loose tensions, but for me, I have mine on relatively, I think, okay tensions. Yeah, kind of like medium, and it doesn't really corner twist at all for me. So the corner cutting is basically the same as all your standard cubes. Um, it's just 45 all around. I think you can cut a little more. I don't know. My, well, mine can't. Mine can't cut that much more. Uh, just a little more. Um, but reverse is about there. Uh, nothing really special about the cube, uh, corner cutting wise. Uh, most cubes cut the same um, these days, anyways, like uh, Yuxin. They usually cut around the same. Um, one cube may cut a little more than the other, and the other cube may cut a little less. But overall, in on average, they're usually the same amount of corner cutting, uh, except for the Feng Shi Guan Ying. That's that's completely different, though. Um, so overall, this cube is really really good, and I highly recommend buying it. It's not my main, uh, due to the fact that for some reason I get really bad times on it. I don't know why. I think I just I, don't, I just don't like that flat feel on the cube. I don't know why. I just don't like that really flat feel on the cube that the V2 has. 
and I guess it's a little too blocky for me for my turning style but that's just my preference your preference may be totally different from mine and a lot of people that are fast use the Alamo V2 so you can pick this up at the cubicle.us uh, cubes for speed you can pick this up basically from any cubing store and I'll list a variety of cubing stores down below uh, you guys can go check out every single cubing store I put down there for some compare prices um, Amazon does carry this but I'm not sure what the price is but overall cube is very very good and I really 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 recommend this cube to basically any speed cuber it's a it's basically the cube that um, the cube that really got um, I don't know how to really explain it it's just an overall good cube that everyone kind of defaults to now uh, like back then everyone defaulted back to the, before the Feng Shui came out everyone defaulted back to either the Guhong or the Zanshi uh, those were the two cubes that people default back to is like if they needed a new main they would just pick one of those two uh, I feel like that the Outlong V2 is that type of cube if you need a, just a good cube just an overall good cube you would get the Outlong V2 and that would be pretty much it so I'm just going to do a quick solve on here uh, yeah also my cube has a problem with the center caps popping off I forgot to mention that um, I don't know why, but it just is, so, so, let's see how this goes, oh man, so yeah, that's pretty much the solve on the um, Alon V2. So overall, as I said before, I really highly recommend this cube to anyone basically, even slower cubers, um, because the cube is a perfect speed. It, it can be either slow, fast, smooth, um, crunchy. It basically can be anything, honestly. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend this cube, guys. Uh, this is my review of the Alon V2. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like if you did like it. Um, if you didn't, then you know, obviously there's a dislike button for a reason. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.